In this tutorial, we would like to show you how you can further customize your Empower version to accelerate the work within PowerPoint in your day-to-day -day business. We use the Empower version 9.2. Next to the global settings your Empower administrators are making for you to ensure and enhance that all settings are brand compliant and help you in creating new content, you have your own user settings. You can access your user settings in two ways. You could either navigate to the group help and click on the button help and settings to navigate to the user settings, or you could, once you have opened up the quick access pane, navigate to the quick access pane, clicking on the Empower logo on the top right of the quick access pane and open up your user settings. Per default, all toggle buttons are initially disabled, meaning you can see that they are all set to off. In some companies, and this might be the case for you as well, the second one is set to on and using the simplified ribbon, which would be the first demonstration actually on how to change your personal settings. The simplified ribbon is demonstrating a grouped version of all Empower features to ease the work with an Empower, which could be quite useful in the very beginning when you get used to Empower or when you prefer working with grouped features over having a very extended ribbon view. You could change your setting according to your needs or if you change working with Empower and you want to switch to a classic view, which you can see now the Empower ribbon has extended and all the grouped features are displayed at once. Or if you use at a use a smaller monitor, for example, or you are working from a laptop on a business trip, you could make use of the simplified ribbon here. All these toggle buttons can be enabled and disabled the way we just saw. Once you have Empower installed on your device and you open the PowerPoint application the first time after installation, you will not have the quick access pane on the right hand activated here, but you can do so by clicking on the Always Show Sidebar button. And even when I now close the user settings, the quick access pane stays active and is displayed all the time. For more information on the quick access pane, check out our separate tutorial. We will not go into detail at this point. Since we are focusing on the user settings, you can check and set according to your needs. The third option would be apply bullet and other formats. If this one is activated, the behavior of PowerPoint when using bullets is basically changing and adapting to the master settings that have been done on the slide master level by your Empower administrator. This is a very short overview. If you activate this feature here via your user settings, you see that some of the shapes or text fields that have been set with bulleting will change according to the setting here on the master template and change even in terms of font colors. We can see that at the bottom here as well. Whereas when you deactivate this feature and use the bulleting function that is integrated in the Empower ribbon as well, will not make use of the setup that has been defined on the slide master level. Then we have a fourth user setting, which is called show change format. We will have a short demonstration on this feature here as well. When change format is activated, you see the toggle button enabled. We have a hover over window that will be displayed every time you click on a specific content on your slide. This could be a text field or a placeholder, like in this case, 
and if you click on the hover over window, an overview pops up. We have a small gray faint line here and all the items on top of that line mirror all the placeholders that are displayed on the layout slide coming from the master. And you could now, for example, move the content from the left content placeholder to the right content placeholder just by clicking on the desired placeholder here. And we see that the sentence just has moved from the left placeholder to the right placeholder. Not only does the change format feature list all the placeholders, right at the bottom of the gray faint line, we have a list of the text elements that are stored in your Empower library. And you could move any content from, I will use the title placeholder just for demonstration purposes here, to one of the text elements stored in the library. For example, I want to use the legend here. And if I select it, we see the title placeholder content is moved into the text element that I just chose. And the text element is exactly placed on the slide where it has been initially uploaded by your Empower administrators. So to sum up, we've got four user settings that can be accessed directly via the Quick Access pane or via the Empower ribbon that is integrated into the PowerPoint ribbon and helps you to further customize your Empower version according to your needs. Now feel free to test these functions yourself. For more information on Empower, check our other tutorials.